happy saturday y'all good morning pulling up to run club we here y'all we here i'm tired i didn't sleep very well but no excuses we getting it done here we go okay what was the question what we going to do tomorrow are at home and they lack motivation to join the club right so if you lack motivation this is the reason why you should come to run club they have so many different levels here not everybody is a runner there are walking groups as well it is us supporting us and you'll see it's good fellowship it's all good vibes everybody is welcoming and if you're scared and you're looking for a way to where do i start how do i start this is the perfect place to run but if you don't you want to come and then you're gonna want to come, okay? <laughs> so that would be my suggestion. We just see it first, try it out, bring a friend. If you need some encouragement, you don't want to come by yourself, bring a friend, bring a loved one. Yeah, come check it out. This is the perfect place to find that motivation. Another successful Saturday run club. We had so many more people show up today. The girls and I feel motivated and we decided to run three miles. Seriously, shout out to my sorority sister Pam because she is really pushing me on my cardio game. I love it. I'm here for it. So I'm going to do a quick stretch and then I'm going to head over. All right, y'all. I'm at HEB. They are having a 25% off sale on like vitamins and supplements and stuff. So I'm about to go stock up on a few things. In particular, some collagen peptides. Um, I think that's really the only thing I need from here. But let's see what else they have on sale. 25% off, can't beat it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it is. So one of the things I do on the weekends is I come to a water refilling station and fill up my gallons of water. So this is, um, Purified water, drinking water, only 45 cents compared to paying a dollar and some change for the gallons. So this is a way that I save some money. So I got eight bottles today and I'll be back next week. It's getting dark out here, but y'all I love a good deal from ATB. So I got my collagen peptides for $17 and I ended up getting um, some more Walden Farms salad dressing for $3. And I was like, do I need anything else? No, I didn't need anything else, but I did need some more collagen peptides. I had one more container left. So I'm happy when I catch them on sale. So I got three and now I'm headed home to go edit and lay down. Cause it's been a very, very, very eventful. Matter of fact, now that I'm in the car, I don't think I've caught you guys up on everything that transpired today. So this morning I had run club. We ran three miles. Pam, shout out to Pam, y'all. Pam is my cardio motivator. Let's just say that. She is gonna push me further than I anticipate on doing, right? And so I came in there thinking we was gonna run two miles, ran three miles. So shout out to Pam for continuing to push me and to make me better. Um, after that, went over to boot camp. Boot camp was jam packed, y'all. <laughs> Good problems to have, though. Like, I am blessed. I am grateful. I thank God for it. But I need to, entrepreneur life, I need to come up with a scheduling booking system because before, um, boot camp was manageable to where people could just show up, you know? Now, I need to know how many people are coming ahead of time and I need to like cap the class because like today I had 20 people show up for boot camp. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. So, um, yeah. So, I'll be researching um, some online booking systems. So, here's my thing. I know that there's like Square and Booksy and some other ones that I've heard about and I've kind of reached out to other personal trainers. So here's my dilemma. I only charge $10 for boot camp. So if I'm only charging $10 for boot camp, Square about to take a percentage off top, I'm about to be getting like $6, $7 a class. Like, mm. So that's my dilemma as far as why I haven't implemented um, a booking system just yet. Because I, again, I wanna keep the price as low as possible but I also wanna make sure I'm getting paid for my time, right? So yeah. 
so there's that um after boot camp i went and i did like day today i was so motivated to get home that i was in and out like it wasn't nothing i ain't play around i ain't record no videos i just went in there did my workout and left <laughs> so then when i came home i soaked in some epsom salt because the legs had been doing the absolute most had some online client stuff that i had to take care of um so i did that and then i started working on like my logo y'all it's coming together it is coming together um now that i have my dd214 which is my official emancipation papers to say that i served in the military um i can get a free llc as a texas veteran so that's why i was waiting until now to file my llc so i'll be doing that actually next month i'm gonna go to one of the uh texas veteran commission people companies private organizations where they file it for free so all i gotta do is show up with my paperwork <laughs> <laughs> and and will okay bright and early first thing in the morning so i will be following for my loc next month um designing my logos now so that i can have t-shirts made because my clients they they want shirts plus i've been having a couple of clients that's been uh getting these uh shirts that say things such as personally victimized by my trainer i had another one i think i have those clips still where i can insert them another one was um my trainer's trying to kill me uh my trainer's the reason why i have trust issues because when she says last set she's lying something along those lines so i'm like you know what y'all need shirts because yeah so i love it though i love it everything is coming together y'all like i am truly grateful and i apologize for the bad lighting in here it's definitely 8 42 at night um i'm just grateful for where i'm at in life um i was scared y'all when i say i was scared i was truly scared to retire because i was doing something where i was so comfortable in that after 21 years taking that that comfort blanket away it's like can i do this will i be okay financially will i be all right and it took a lot of therapy I had a whole quarter life crisis in the meantime like it took a, a minute to get to where i'm at and now that i'm like on the other side of the storm i'm just like so happy and grateful because i am doing what i am passionate about it doesn't feel like work and the fact that you know i'm doing what god told me do <laughs> it's like he is bringing me the clients and he's bringing me those opportunities and i feel like i have my village and this is just i'm just so grateful y'all i am so grateful and sorry to get all religious on y'all but hey this is my channel I, I say what i want on here um a lot of it came from including therapy yes but you know i had said at the top of the year that i wanted to start going back to church more physically because i will admit i was strong to bedside baptist after covid and i was like no keisha you make time to go physically to the gym you need to convert that same energy into physically going to church and so um i started doing that found a really really good church uh place where i go to i don't want to call it a church home yet because i haven't joined the church officially um but i've been going there consistently for a few years now but um yeah so going back to church weekend after weekend sunday after sunday the message kept telling me that i need to stop being scared and trust and trust that god is going to take care of me and ask and pray for him to guide my steps and all of that and so i'm like okay god i hear you i hear you and god kept making me real uncomfortable in the military so that i would move because like i just said previously the military i was comfortable so god was like okay i'm just gonna continue to make you real uncomfortable until you decide to move and so yeah um not many people know this but on top of like truly being unhappy at work <laughs> like i was taking leave at least once a week like i was taking leave at least every wednesday because i was like i can't work here five days in a week so i was taking leave at least once a week 
I was also just unhappy with what I was doing. I didn't have any job satisfaction. I didn't feel like I was a valuable member of the team. I was unhappy with the position that I was in. So I felt like I was just babysitting grown adults. Like there was nothing happy about me going to work day in and day out. But the straw that broke the camel's back was when my commander called me personally and told me I was deploying. And I said, no respectfully ma'am get somebody else to do it because i'm i'm pushing the button because i i won't i'm not i i, I don't want to i have no desire to uh, uh get somebody else in here that want to be here because <laughs> respectfully it ain't me <laughs> so yeah that was um yeah i was supposed to be deployed and i said no no ma'am no i can't i don't mm -mm. And I'm just grateful that I was in a position to where I could quit my job at any time, you know? And so, yeah, here we are. I don't know what, I started this clip about HEB and here we are getting real deep into things, but <laughs> yeah. So anyways, that was, that's, that's my day. That is what I've been doing. Um, I needed to get uh, off of that computer screen because I'm telling you something about sitting at a desk now just does not sit well with my spirit anymore <laughs> so after working on my uh, my client stuff my online client stuff and then like doing business stuff designing logos updating stuff I was like no nah, I need to get out of the house and so decided to come to ATB that's how I ended up here <laughs> I say all that to say this that's how I ended up here and now I am going home and put my pajamas back on because I did put on clothes to leave the house. But now I'm about to go put my pajamas back on and I'm about to go lay down and go back to watching YouTube. So until the next clip, y'all. Good morning, y'all. Sunday fun day. I am tired. And had it not been for the prep sisters keeping me accountable, this probably would have been the day where I would have been like, mm, not gonna do it today. But here I am on my way tired and all we're gonna get through it and i'll feel better after it's done but yeah I'm, I'm legit tired um had a crazy day yesterday crazy long week um so yeah i've made the executive decision that this week i am only going to work monday tuesday and wednesday i'm taking thursday and friday off i was already gonna take friday off because i'm going home but I'm going to need a day to rest before my weekend adventure. So, yeah, I'm only going to work three days this week. Shout out to Entrepreneur Life. Yes, I love it. <laughs> All right, back to the note. I forgot to mention, um, I ordered these shorts from Amazon because it's hot. And, you know, I'll be out here running in these streets. So, I needed some, like, longer shorts because my thighs be rubbing together. Like, that's the real reason why I run in pants anyways for the compression aspect and because my thighs be rubbing together. So, um, I found some longer. I say longer. My limbs is long as is. So, they're supposed to be, like, 8 inches, but they definitely come to, like, the middle of my thighs. <laughs> Tall girl problems. But um, I'm going to test them out today to see how they work. Yes, I'm definitely vlogging while I'm driving. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I'm gonna try them out today. Hopefully they work all right. But the good thing about Amazon is if it don't work, I will wash them and then I will return them. So hopefully they work out though, because they were super cheap. They had like over 10,000 reviews, like good reviews. So I'm like, oh, these will work. They're definitely a thinner material, which I'm not even too mad about because again, it's hot. Um, I wear like Nike compression shorts underneath my workout clothes anyway, so I am double layered. So there's no see-through aspect happening. So I don't know, we are gonna see how it works, child. I just need them to not ride up and for my thighs not to be causing all this friction to where I'm causing a fire or something. So, all right, I'm going back to drive. What are we doing today for our workout, Amanda? Um, well, we need to warm up. Okay. And then we are definitely gonna do stairs. do like we did the last time where we sprint oh. jog sprint jog okay we'll survive it'll be okay yep we will, will okay we? yeah, yeah we'll we will all right finished with the run so amanda had to go pee prep life so she's not here anymore but me and pam we finished it off you see her sweat yeah sweaty Today's cheeks my last day working out She's lying. I don't like this. She's lying. She's just gonna, yep, press through. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, shower. 
y'all know the drill. I don't have a motivational uh, speech for y'all today other than I was tired and I got it done sometimes. Discipline over motivation. That's the, that's the message today. Discipline over motivation because I did not have the motivation today, but I had the discipline and the importance of your village. Okay, bye. What's up, y'all? So, obviously, I'm back at home. I have showered. I've changed. I am currently preparing my first meal. So, maybe I'll do a full day of eating for you guys because I haven't done one of those yet. So, for my first meal, I am having cream of rice and my eggs with vegetables, spinach, all of that. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm cooking right now. So, I alternate between oatmeal and cream of rice just depending on like I'll do oatmeal if I'm making my food and eating it later but if I'm like making my food to eat right now to then go to the gym then I'll do cream of rice because I feel like the cream of rice um, digests a little bit faster than the oatmeal versus oatmeal I feel like I gotta wait a few minutes before I can actually like go to the gym without feeling so full so um, that's what I'm making. So yeah, I got my mushrooms, onions, peppers, and the skillet, about to add my spinach. Got my cream of rice and blueberries in the microwave. So a hack that I learned, if you line your Tupperware with a paper towel at the top and the bottom, it keeps your spinach fresh for days. And so I empty out my whole bag of spinach in here and it'll last until this container is empty. So if you want to try let me know what you think and yeah, this will stay fresh. Maybe I'll do this in like a couple of days so you can see like, yeah, it's still fresh. But yeah, paper towel, nothing fancy, just a paper towel at the bottom and then I put one at the top. Okay, here's meal number one prepared. It doesn't look that good, but it tastes good. So my cream of rice looks that color because I use frozen blueberries and then as it cooks, it turns everything blue. So. I got scrambled egg whites with one whole egg, some spinach and vegetables in there, and then cream of rice with blueberries. Okay, so obviously I'm in the car now, so I'm about to head over to the gym to knock out my workout right quick. Again, I am so tired, so I'm just ready to get this workout over with. Um, luckily, this is my Sunday workout, so it's not too crazy, so I'm going to head over to... Um, the gym that I work at because it's typically dead on Sundays and I could be in and out don't have to wait for any machines or anything so I'm gonna go there to do my workout only thing I have on my agenda today I say only thing but it's really gonna take me the rest of the day to do I want to do a nice deep clean on the house today so do some vacuuming sweeping cleaning the bathrooms mopping the floors also want to tackle laundry, but not just like regular laundry. I want to wash like my linen and stuff. So I may go over to the laundromat later this evening. Um, and while I'm at the laundromat, edit my video because I'll be sitting there for hours and some change. So um, I think that is pretty much it. Oh, I do need to meal prep, just make some shrimp um yeah y'all see that a little bit later today so i was doing steak last week but now i'm tired of it so i'm going back to my fish same with my chicken i'm tired of chicken now so um i decided to make salmon the other day instead of sh the steak and then i'm making shrimp instead of the chicken so i'll be eating all fish primarily for my protein sources um, coming up for this next few days. But I did notice though, I was having the more significant waiter drops, waiter drops, the more significant weight drops when I was primarily eating fish. And so um, I'm okay with going back into it. I just had to take a break from it. So yeah, um, you'll see today's for my full day of eating. Um, I had my first meal, which is my egg whites and my cream of rice. And then my second meal will be my post-workout meal. So I got my protein and egg whites or egg whites. Lord have mercy. I told y'all I'm tired. I got my rice cakes and almond in here. Um, and my protein, y'all. This, this weekend is taking me out. Um, so yeah, I bring my post-workout meal with me and I know people are like, why are you eating rice cakes if you're not like seriously cutting? Because it's convenient and I can literally eat it as soon as I leave. I don't have to worry about finding a microwave. I can eat it while I'm driving. So plus again, y'all know I got a sweet tooth. So I do eat, um, the caramel rice cakes right now are like my, sh my stuff, my stuff. So 
tearing these caramel rice cakes up um typically i have two rice cakes after my workout but i did have one before i went to go run the stadium stairs today so um i am on macros in case you're new here i'm on macros which means my coach tells me the amount of protein carbs and fats to eat and however i hit my numbers is however i hit my numbers but of course i'm trying to make sure that i'm eating like whole nutritious foods and making better choices as far as what i eat and i typically eat the same thing every day um since tuesdays are my check-ins if i make any like major changes so like going from steak to salmon or chicken to shrimp i'll do it after my check-in on tuesday that way i know like if my weight goes up or down like okay that was the factor um because i changed something and i know exactly what i changed and so i don't like to switch up too much of things during the middle of my training week just to keep everything consistent and to just get that data so enough rambling um headed to the gym now so I uh, will see y'all when I eat my next meal. I probably won't capture me drinking my protein and eating my rice cakes because y'all saw that's meal too. <laughs> um, so I will chat with y'all a little Not bit. Not me on here looking like a whole savage. Uh, okay, y'all. So I am cooking. I'm doing laundry. I have some peas in the microwave steaming. So I got a lot going on in the background, but... I just wanted to show y'all, um, I'm about to make my shrimp now. So again, I'm gonna be eating shrimp this week. And so for my seasoning, I'm gonna do like curry and turmeric kind of a vibe. So um, turmeric is pretty good for you. It's a good anti-inflammatory, so mm, whatever. That's really, <laughs> that's really it. I just wanna have a taste for something different. So I'm gonna go with the curry feel with my shrimp. taking a break from my housework and I'm about to eat meal number four which is one of my favorites so I have um, some salmon some jasmine rice and the just my steamed mixed vegetables so I will show you all this next meal so yeah back on my fish kick to light it for my candle y'all <laughs> but yeah there we go it's a few hours later and I'm finally done cleaning the house. I'm about to eat meal number four. And then um, after I eat, I'm gonna head over to the washateria to wash my comforters. Um, that's, that's the last thing I have left on my cleaning list of things to do. Um, I was waiting until it got a little bit cooler outside because I'm gonna just wait in my car and so I didn't wanna sit in broad daylight in the middle of the day when it's like 90 degrees so at least now the sun should be starting to set so um yeah let me show you my shrimp it's literally the shrimp that i just cooked um over some jasmine rice and then some steamed vegetables it's always going to be some type of steamed vegetables um so i got green beans and a little bit of the mixed vegetables that i had from earlier i had literally 30 grams of the mixed vegetables left so i just combined that with my string being so yeah shrimp jasmine rice and steamed vegetables meal number four doesn't that look good though like all the colors meal number four finally I'm about to leave the laundromat it is 8 39 um but yeah got my comforters i washed them blankets i haven't folded them they just going on the bed when i get home so um that's it for my sunday cleaning adventure doing adult shit um i have two more meals to eat so i'm going to go ahead and um eat my my fifth meal probably soaking some epsom salt 
and then um, eat my sixth meal, which is a snack before I go to bed. I'm tired. I imagine I'll be asleep by 10 o'clock tonight, so going home now plus this lighting is just trash because it's dark but peace out going home okay y'all meals five and six i will be having jasmine rice green beans two packets of hickory smoked tuna fish and meal six is my dessert which is really just a snack my greek yogurt strawberries and half of an avocado because of how late it is today i honestly might just eat all of this together that way, once I take my shower, I can just get in the bed. So um, I'll show y'all what this looks like. So there we go. Um, like I said, I've been eating fish all week, primarily for my protein sources. So I really do love my tuna fish. It is a staple. So I will put all that together. And then for dessert, strawberries, Greek yogurts, and half of an avocado. Five and six. So imagine... You just change the sheets on your bed. I woke up, turned the light on, and girl, she find a new spot to sleep every time I wash these sheets. So I guess she, and she looking at me like, I'm in the rock. This is my bed. This is my house. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. So it is almost 10 o'clock in the morning and i'm sitting in the gym parking lot i'm actually pretty early than normal um no other particular reason other than one of my clients is on vacation so normally i see her at nine o'clock in the morning so i got to like relax and have a slow start to my morning and i really appreciate it so oddly enough i actually just edited and uploaded my last youtube vlog <laughs> so um yeah here I am at the gym. I got shoulders today. i um, going to focus on some cardio, some core. Same old, same old. Nothing too crazy. And then get my day started with um, training. I may go to Hot Works. Matter of fact, I need to look up to see when the next Hot Works um, session is today. And if I can squeeze that in, go to Hot Works. Um, yeah, I just want to get like a good sweat in before I have my check-ins tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to sit here and talk about that because I was watching my last YouTube video and yeah, let's just talk about it. Um, I hope it doesn't seem like I'm rushing the, the prep process because I'm not. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, like I understand like I haven't really had an improvement season because I was just going through life, uh, figuring out my next chapter with retirement and whatnot. And so I understand that it's important to just sit down and actually make improvements. That way you don't show up looking the same every year, every year, every year. And so um, I am just feeling good, I guess you can say. And I got a little bit of caught up in the moment. So that's what it was. I got caught up in the moment. I'm like, ooh, I'm starting to see my body change a little bit because it's recomping and um like I'm just feeling good and so I just got caught up in the moment when I was like hey coach and she's like girl no not yet mm. but <laughs> I completely understand I told her I was like thank you for um putting me back to where I need to be with the reality check and so oh yeah so we're gonna see it kind of just gives me um like a different shift now because realistically like I probably won't compete this year I mean if I do then I mean it's too early to tell right now but I'm just like so what does that mean like how do I stay motivated right so I do have my 40th birthday coming up in November so if I'm not going to be competing at the end of the year at least I want to be 40 and fine right so that's one thing that I'm going to look forward to so I did win a photo shoot um with there's the uh photographer for nff so i've shot with him before matter of fact when i did my last show i shot with him so i actually won a free photo shoot so the stipulation was that you had to compete though so i don't know if maybe i could finagle something we'll see but the goal is maybe to like be photo shoot ready if that makes sense so if i don't do the show in November or October whenever it is maybe I can go in like photo shoot type of mode I don't know like get photo shoot ready 
that makes sense so i don't know with either way child we still sticking in it we still motivated we still pressing for it we still making good use of this time um I know like summertime, I love being outside. That's why I'm just out here thriving and running and doing all the things. And so cardio is easy right now for me because it's hot outside and I enjoy being outside. So I truly am enjoying this improvement season, which I can't really say I've done before, um, partly because I've never really truly had an improvement season before, but it's all good, y'all. It is all good. I'm gonna just sit here and just like, just sat on the sidelines and, and cheer for people and just keep studying the sport and just keep focusing on what I need to focus on right now. So yeah, that's all I got for that one. Anyways, I am gonna go um, do my workout now and also book my hot work session and I will chat with y'all later. <laughs> yesterday um second off hot works took my ass all the way out and i'm sitting here trying to get my life together because i have to go into work now i am tired and i'm i'm not like sleepy tired i'm like drained tired like i just didn't gave my whole life to that damn sauna so um yeah we're gonna see. Hopefully, this day goes by fast. <sighs> oh, before I forget, so normally I do the hot stretch, which is like stretching and foam rolling in the sauna. But there was somebody else already booked in there, so I was like, mm, I'm gonna pick something else where I could be in there by myself. So I signed up for hot core which is the core class in the sauna. I got through like two exercises and I said, no, fuck that. I'm going to stretch and foam roll for the 30 minutes that I'm in here. So definitely needed that. But that core workout, mm, that's my own still girl, not me. Not me. Good morning, y'all. I am recording live from my bed here. It is Tuesday morning, check-in day. And here's the cat. <laughs> um, say hi, mamas. Okay, so anyways. So, I'm actually dreading check-ins today. For whatever reason, I'm just not feeling it. Um, this week's training week was kind of meh. I've just been feeling tired and not as motivated. Despite me, like, having these pep talks, motivational talks, and just... Mm. So, we'll see what these check-ins look like today. Um, I'm thinking... Today may actually be an in-body scan day as well. Maybe I need some different type of motivation. I don't know. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do an in-body today as well. So, it's Tuesday. It's like 8.30 in the morning. I'm looking like I have my Apple Watch on. Of course, I have it. But I think it's like 8.30 in the morning. So, I'm about to get up now and get started with these check-ins. Good morning. <laughs> So 
I just finished sending check-ins to my coach. I ain't even dressed yet. I got on a sports bra and some shorts and I'm just gonna go straight to Rocks because they open in about five minutes. So I'm just gonna knock out this in-body scan and then come back home, cook my first meal, finish getting dressed and hopefully by then I'll feel up to going to the gym. I'm just in a funk this morning, not quite sure why. Um, Check-ins. My weight dropped again, so that's good. I'm down to 180, so maybe, just maybe, within the next week or two, I'll be out of the 180s. Um, we will see, because I don't trust myself going to Houston. I'm just gonna be honest, I may have a little snack here or there. I'm trying to fit it in my macros, but the fact that I'm not cooking it, I anticipate my weight spiking next week, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to Rocks now to go get an in-body scan just because I'm curious and it's been, I think, over a month now since I've gotten a scan done. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm not even dressed, just going out in these streets naked. Slides, oh you got socks on y'all. But we'll see what Coach says. Um, I did mention in my check-ins that this week I wasn't really feeling as motivated I was kind of just like going through the motions. I mean, I still stuck to my macros. I still got all my workouts in, but I was just kind of doing it. I wasn't really like happy about doing it and excited about doing it. I was just here because I got to do it kind of thing. But sometimes you won't always feel excited and motivated through the process. Um, at the end of the day, I'm a human being, right? So I'm gonna get back to driving and I will let you guys see what this in-body scan is. Okay, well, the body fat percentage went from 22.2 to 22 even. So, hell, I guess a win is a win. So, body fat went down all the 0.2%, but it's down, weight is down, measurements are down. So when I say measurements, I mean like my waist and stuff. So although I'm feeling kind of meh, body is doing meh. <laughs> body is doing pretty good, but I'm still like meh. I don't know, y'all, yeah, just there's that. <laughs> Today is Thursday and I definitely like didn't schedule any clients today because this is my day to accomplish errands and stuff right so some of the things that I had to get done like I got my tires rotated got an alignment you know basic shit I get a calendar reminder and I got a wax appointment y'all <laughs> I have put off my wax appointment for it's been a good two months, okay? Um, however, this is what I do. I can push off my wax appointment because who gonna see nobody? Uh, but when it comes time to my eyebrows, that's when I'm like, okay, I can't push this appointment back any further. I need to go. Cause my eyebrows are definitely growing in all kinds of ways right now. So the fact that I'm gonna be like around family and stuff, I was like, oh, let me go get my eyebrows done amongst other things and so I'm just like <sighs> but I don't know about y'all but I never really have a good attitude when it comes to waxing but kudos to my wax lady because she truly loves her job and she has the most positive attitude when I go in for my appointment she's just so pleasant and she makes the experience just so pleasurable despite how bad it is so okay I'm gonna get back to driving um my plan is, since I'll have nothing else to do today, is to pack. I have no excuse not to pack. So I'm gonna go home and um, pack, figure out like my meal situation and everything. That way tomorrow, Friday's normally my rest day, what I'm gonna do is do my Saturday workout, which is a leg day, and then get on the road and go to Houston. That way, um, Saturday when I get to Houston or Saturday while I'm in Houston I don't have to worry about working out because we're going all the way to Port Arthur anyway so yeah so on that note 
Maybe I'll wait to close out the vlog until after I get my eyebrows waxed. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll be back in a second after I get my eyebrows waxed, y'all. She is back. Eyebrows are waxed. Mm, you see it. So yeah, I got my eyebrows waxed and now I'm going to go pack so I can leave for Houston in the morning. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog when I'm at home in Houston and chilling with my family in Port Arthur. And yeah, that is it, y'all. So, to the next vlog. Bye!